This is a traditional Japanese kotatsu. Some tangerines. Real tangerines. <laughs> tangerines are in season. Uh, picking vegetables for our dinner tonight. He is the chef tonight. Oh my god, the pizza. Amazing. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Greetings from Hiroshima. We are about to board the bus to a place called Iwami Ginzan. Uh, this is the main reason why we are here. Neither of us have been there, so we're excited. We really don't know what to expect. We did a little bit of research. It's one of those places that's off the tourist radar. One, because it's not well known. Number two, uh, it's not very easy to get to. However, if you're visiting Hiroshima, this is a perfect getaway because you can get there by bus. I think it's about two hours from Hiroshima by bus and that's what we're going to be doing today. Our bus has arrived. That's the bus we're going to be on for a little over two hours. Alright guys, so we are here at the rest stop. Uh, great thing is that the bus does stop uh, halfway through the ride so you can take a restroom break, you can get something to eat from the uh, little snack stand and the little grocery store. And it's perfect because I really needed to go to the restroom. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Tomoko and Hi. this is Louie. They are our guides for the day. Tomoko, uh, you lived in um, Samoa before, right? Yes, Samoa. I was there for yeah. two years. For two years, yeah. and that's why you can speak English. <laughs> and Louie, you've lived in the States and yeah. also where again? Uh, the Republic of South Africa. South Africa. Yeah. Okay, well you guys speak perfect English. Probably better English than me. No, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, anyway, really looking forward to the tour today. Me too. Yeah, uh, me uh, too. All right, so let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Yeah. This way. Yeah. Okay. Wow. This is so exciting, guys. Iwami Ginzan is a world heritage site, and I can't believe it. I think it's the first time I've I've been to like a whole town that's a world heritage site. You know. Mm -hmm. First of all, we're gonna go to the Iwami Ginzan Park, uh -huh. and you can see the model of the. Whole area of Iwami Ginzan I or, see. Or heritage site. Okay. It's not only the mountain and town. Mm -hmm. We what what we call we also have another next town mm -hmm. of our, of Omori. Oh, I see. The, like there is a port. Is, yeah. Also <coughs> a um, world heritage site uh -huh. and. Uh, it's a port where the silver were um, delivered around uh, around the world. Oh, I see. Right. I I, I heard that um, one third of the world's silver <laughs> was yep. uh, from here, right? Yeah. Well, That's um, the, uh, Konnichiwa. Yeah. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. That's pretty amazing. I thought, you know. Yeah. yeah. So most of these buildings are um, preserved from the past. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Okay. They're, most of them are around 200 years old. 200, wow. Um, there was a uh, big fire in this town in the year 1800. Oh, I see. So the buildings, which are um, older than that, mm -hmm. are most, were mostly burnt down. Oh, I Some see. Some buildings are older than that, but okay. many of the houses were burnt down in 1800. Oh, okay. So they were built after that. I see. Ah, in the same style as mm -hmm. the original. Yes. Is this Ume? Yeah. <laughs> this yes. is Ume. Ume. Okay. Ume is very famous. Famous, popular flower in, in this town. Yeah. Because it's registered as the town's tree. Really? Yeah. Is it? Oh, interesting. Yeah, because <laughs> when back in the days when uh, silver were mining, mm -hmm. people people who work in the silver mine, yeah, they they always ruin the dust mm -hmm. when they dig the silver. Uh huh. So they they wore masks like this. Yeah. And they. They use plum, mm -hmm. plum fruit mm -hmm. as a like to avoid to like test, um, <laughs> plum fruit. Uh huh. Process um, plant fruit between the yeah. um, inside the mask. Yeah. yeah. To um help with to the breathing help. or to avoid to the help, dust. To avoid the dust. Really? Yeah. Interesting. So we oh, have a lot of plum trees. I see. Huh? Okay, so that's like the the, the city flower or the national. Mm -hmm. yeah. I see. The city tree. That's so interesting. So we start walking to mining shaft. And along the street, there are some ruins and parks. We will visit some places. Now we are here, the red spot. The red spot. Yeah. Oh, I see. So okay. The, you are making some park. Right. And today we're gonna go up, 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 up around there. Mm -hmm. There is a Yurgenji Mazu. It is one of the famous mines. More than more than five hundred mine shafts all around this mount, yeah. silver mountain. Okay, right. like small ones. Oh, I see. Okay. Early, in early summer, they pick the plum fruit and they make some plum liquor or plum syrup, maybe umeboshi. If plum tree is a town tree, I heard. So in this park, there are a variety of palm tre plum trees. Mm, and it's just blooming. It's a season. Plum trees, plum, plum blooming season. Wow, how nice these houses are! This town, it's very traditional style. It's beautiful! At this World Heritage Site, Iyami Ginzan, the life, their life is the most important thing. So, it's... harmonized with nature and inheriting their life to the next generation. Yes, his farm is really um, made in an interesting style. What a nice atmosphere. <laughs> this is Suzuki Farms. This is a uh, a tiny little farm just in the neighborhood and the guy in, in you know out in the farm right now he's uh picking vegetables for our dinner tonight he is the chef tonight
for the school. Well, it means me. I'm, uh, but in this town, we still live in the. I'm almost forgetting that we're here to see the silver mine shafts. <laughs> I'm just enjoying the nature all around us. You know, find the tea leaves are so exciting. And uh, Louis was saying that, you know, he catches turtles and freshwater crab from this river here. And he's actually, you can actually eat the crab. That's kind of incredible. Can you tell, can you tell how much of a city boy I am? <laughs> But there are so many mine shafts along this road. I can you imagine going inside here. <laughs> no, I can't imagine going here. Wow. wow. Go Look at this tiny little mine shaft here. Mine wow. shaft 459. Is this one too? Yes. It is? Yeah. That's another one. There's a little big one here. Wow. Here's another one. Okay, this one's pretty big. <laughs> yeah. Number four. Okay, this oh, one's... This one is bigger. This mm. one I can understand. Kind of going into this one. This mine shaft um, goes underneath this road. Oh. Goes that way. Really? Oh. Wow. Oh, so interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. And this is a liquor shop that yeah. opened recently, like last October, December. Oh. And they have real good um, natural wine. Natural wine? And sake. Really? Wow, that's so interesting. Oh, so here's a local liquor shop here selling wine and sake. Konnichiwa. Oh, I love amazake. We have amazake oh. here. <laughs> I love that too. Mm. Recently, I, I'm fond of sake. Oh, really? Japanese sake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Before, I didn't like it. Oh, really? Oh, really? I love it now. Oh, yeah, it's that's terrible. Shimane <laughs> <laughs> is very famous for sake making. That's really? Cool. Yeah. Oh, I see. There's a lot of yeah, good, yeah, good rice, good water. Good water, good rice. Oh, I see. Oh, oh so on this guy. Hey. So that was the local neighborhood liquor shop. And they have a variety of uh, local sake and local craft beer you know craft beer and sake from this area and um, it was very very interesting yeah they also had some uh, wine from uh, neighboring regions as well but I, but, I but the selection was really really interesting I wish we had a shop like this in our neighborhood in Tokyo So this is the main attraction for the day. We're at Yugenji Mabu Mine Shaft, and this mining tunnel tunnel was developed in the 17th century. Here's the entrance. You just pay the entrance fee, and you're allowed to explore this mine shaft. Okay, so we're at the exit of the, the mine shaft and you can see what they had to do to actually, you know, get the ore out of the mine. They had so many things they had to do, like 
of course, dig through the rocks, uh, create uh, create uh, uh, like steps made of bamboo. Uh, they had to pump out water from the mines, and they had to pump in air for air. I didn't know it was such a difficult thing, such a complex thing. That was amazing. Yeah. yeah, I learned a lot actually. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. A lot. And there was highlights. The bat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we saw the bat. That was incredible. Mm. What's the best thing about living here? Um, the neighbors. Huh? <laughs> the connections between the yeah. people? The people are very interesting. Ah. You know, I keep saying beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. My vocabulary is quite limited. But it really, really is beautiful. There are so many different pathways that you can take. And here, look, you can walk down this little pathway here, walk along the riverbanks. You know, you can discover all the, the silver mines that are located all over the place. You know, you see these uh, wooden stone walls here and that have been built up and uh, the guy tells us that there used to be like uh, buildings for the temples and shrines and uh, people's houses on those uh, stone walls I know we're walking through this uh, forested area <sighs> it's so nice look at this by the way this whole area was designated a world heritage site that includes this uh, mountain or forested area, the silver mines, as well as the town of Omori that we are going to be staying at overnight. You know, we've only been here for a couple of hours, maybe a little over a couple, two hours, and we haven't even seen the city yet or the town area. I feel like I'm in some kind of like. Japanese Ghibli manga. That's what it feels like to me. You know, there's like trees, there's like streams, rivers, silver mine shafts. Oh, right here. This stream right here, running down that way to town. The other good thing I have to say, I want to point out one more thing. You guys know that I'm like a city city boy. I love nature, but I'm not so good with uh, super nature nature like insects and stuff I haven't encountered any insects yet the roads are nicely paved so I don't have to worry about stepping on a snake or anything so yeah I had to point that out okay we are taking a different route back to the town area and the other thing I wanted to point out I noticed is how green this whole place is all oh, the green from the moss and the ground. Isn't this just pretty? With the moss here. Or touch it. This is a sponsored video. Um, the city did invite us to come here. However, I didn't expect it to be so relaxing. Look at this. Just kind of like random things like this. What's happening? Oh, the rocks without the ore. Yeah. Oh, really? It's still here. See, I, I really like all the moss. 
Most of them. <laughs> so beautiful. Moss on the walls, mm -hmm. the moss on the stairs. Mm -hmm. Yoshioka Izumi's tomb. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's quite a lot to see here. This makes me want to um, spend a whole day just walking around the area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like I can discover a lot of things. <laughs> that one? Is that it? That, that one over there. <laughs> Which are, oh, okay, I have to learn. Please. Oh, that's a tea tree! <laughs> this one too? Oh, that's a tea tree! <laughs> wow! This one? Okay. Also. I'm gonna call you Louis Sensei from now on. <laughs> Thank you, Louis Sensei. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> Looks like coffee beans? Mm -hmm. So, man. Yeah. Like a coffee bean. So. <laughs> but this is fun. Looking yeah. for stuff in the like forest. Like a coffee bean. Ah, that's okay. Do you guys prefer coffee or tea? I prefer coffee. Coffee? Me too. You coffee. too? Ah, oh, I'm the only tea drinker. <laughs> you prefer uh, coffee. After eating Japanese food, I would uh, prefer uh, Japanese tea. Uh, mm -hmm. Japanese tea? After bread or like maybe European food, Western yeah. food, yeah. I would try coffee. Mm. You know, I, I used to love coffee, but mm -hmm. um, like five years ago, mm -hmm. I started having heart palpitations. Um, um, it's a mm. oh. Yeah, I thought it was caffeine, but tea doesn't affect me like that. Mm. Yeah, and then I, I met other people that says they have the similar experience. So mm. yeah, it looks like it's common. Oh, that's, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what is that? Oh, mm. 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 yeah. mm. yeah. mm. yeah. mm. So this is the Aoki tree. I'm okay. Right, we're we are near the place that we started this tour. I think we're gonna continue the tour. Um, of the, the town area so it's goodbye to the nature area for now although I think the town is sort of like a side by side with nature I want to get up early in the morning tomorrow and walk around I wonder if we have time for that looking back towards the mountain from the center of town Omori city, Omori town and we are walking towards our accommodations for the night. Just slowly walking and enjoying the atmosphere of this beautiful, beautiful city. You know, one of my favorite places near where we live is Kawagoe. You know, they have a preserved area. They have a lot of the old merchant's house that have been preserved and now they're made into shops. But the biggest difference between there and here is that none of these are for tourists. Yeah, there are, you know, cafes, there, there's like a store, there's like a little supermarket, but they're all uh, catering to the local people. Of course, they're very welcoming to the tourists as well. But people actually live here. Yeah, it's, it's not a touristy place at all, whatsoever. I believe this is a someone's resident here and I think this is someone's house here. Of course, some places like this one is a uh, museum now. This is a, a preserved residence of probably someone famous. Look at this. Oh, it's so beautiful. And we're so far away from Tokyo, far away from any major city. Of course, it's only a little over two hours away from Hiroshima by bus. 
There's a temple up there. Hi. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, we have arrived at our accommodation. This is it? What is the name of this place again? Krasiado Takyo Abeke. Takyo Abeke. Okay, this is Takyo Abeke. This is where we're staying tonight. Beautiful. This is a. Look at this, guys. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. So, is this an old house that belonged to someone samurai before? House. Old it, samurai house. Yeah. Oh. It built 230 years ago. 230 years. Yeah. Wow, that's incredible. Oh. Did you hear that? 230 years old house. Samurai. Mm -hmm. This house, it was totally abandoned. Yeah. Like ghost house. Really? Yeah. And we renovated, graduate, like it takes more than 10 years. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. oh. Alright guys, we have arrived at our accommodation and we were just given a room tour and I gotta say I am blown away. Literally, I can't even talk anymore. Literally blown away. So we sat down, we checked in. When you check in, uh, they ask you questions about you know things you can and cannot eat. They serve you some hot tea with some traditional wagashi candy. Very, very nice. And they gave us a room tour of uh, all their accommodations. They only allow two groups of people to stay here. That's their policy. But anyway, let me show you guys what the rooms look like. Okay, this is the entrance to our room. Hello, Satoshi. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Okay, so this is the first room. Remember, this is a 230-year-old samurai house that has been renovated. Okay. And excuse our suitcases on that side, but this is uh, uh, the first room that you encounter. The beautiful scroll there. Please excuse my gadgets on the right side. You have all, the, all these little touches of art. Okay, this is the bat bedroom. So they laid out our futon. Yeah. I believe this is the textile. The, the the textile that they use this is your room wear my room wear okay room wear and look yeah. it looks like they have a uh, something to like put over your room wear if you're cold in the winter mm. it is cold so here what's that it's warm stuff oh oh my goodness that's to keep you warm oh it's hot that's a nice inside touch. Of, inside of this, mm. there's a, they're using coal, charcoal. charcoal. Charcoal? Really? Okay, that's interesting. And <laughs> they put on the on the thing, mm -hmm. heating stuff, so your clothes is already warm. Yes. And there's a seating area there, but it's dark outside now, so we'll show you that tomorrow. And we do have a lot to show you guys. Oops. Uh, uh, let's see, this way. It's really easy to get lost here. Oh! Okay, this is our living room. Can you believe how grand this place is? Traditional yet grand at the same time. This is a traditional Japanese kotatsu. It's warm on the inside. You put your legs under the table. It's really, really warm. You got some tangerines. Welcome tangerines. <laughs> tangerines are in season. This is for your tea. There's some beautiful cup. <laughs> hot water in there and I just love I just love all the little touches look at this this th this is a uh, the decoration for uh, girls day because it is a uh, girls day right now beautiful flower arrangement here Kore ume? Ume. is this ume yeah ume flower okay moving on uh, this is 
こう気分を変えたいときにどうぞこちらへはいありがとうございます If you want to change your mind Change your mind、oh, If you want to change your mood, mood、mm-hmm. Please come here Yeah And we can also use this room This is insane This is all one room guys Kotatsu Kotatsu This is another Kotatsu Look What? Oko Hori Kotatsu Hori Kotatsu Ah okay So you don't, ha- you don't have to do it like this. Yeah, you can you put can your put legs your underneath legs. the table. Yeah. yeah, there's like a hole under the table. That's so beautiful. Look at this. Look at this room, guys. And you have this thing here. Yeah, that's good. Hot water is a kettle. Old kettle. Oh, wow, there's hot water in here. Honto da. I just love this so much. And we can also go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. So, what is upstairs? This is the tea ceremony room. However, if you want, some people like to sleep up here in this room. They say it's quite cozy. And the sun comes up from that side, so you can see the sun there. Sun from this window. <laughs> Here's another tokonoma here. I am absolutely impressed with these accommodations. So impressed. Okay, let's go downstairs. Yes, watch our head. We didn't show you guys that the bathroom yet. For our room. Let's show them the bathroom. Okay, the bathroom is outside. Was it this way? Me. Me.、Oh, okay, right side. Sorry. It's easy to get lost. Bathroom. Is it out that way? Yeah, okay. okay. A very big room. Probably the biggest room I've ever stayed in. This is a seating area with the inner garden there. But it's nighttime, like I said, so it's a little bit dark right now. Bathroom is outside of your room, but it's inside of your room. Yeah. This is the inner garden. Oh, my God.、Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so tranquil. We're the only two guests here tonight. The other group canceled. This is the toilet room. The beautiful modern toilet room. Look at this, you have this super nice flower vase. That's like a natural air freshener, I think. A little artwork right above the toilet. Okay. And this is the core. <laughs> I just can't believe this, this, this room. This is the bathtub made of hinoki wood, and look, there are leaves floating on the water. <gasps> no, it's so beautiful. Aroma is super nice. Yeah, it smells like hinoki and also a tangerine or something. But it's a very modern bathroom,、mm-hmm. you know, with amenities here. You have like the beautiful. This is、uh, that, that wax. Low bai. Low bai,、mm-hmm. right? Of course, uh, uh,、um, electric uh, water heater. Electric water heater. So,、yeah, it's a uh, electric water boiler for the bathtub and the shower. You can go outside here. Once again, it's dark, so I'll show you guys what it looks like tomorrow morning. Okay, and this is the sink area. Here's the cute sink. You got all your amenities here, like brushes and toothbrush, toothpaste, all your towels. Dryer. Yeah, you got hair dryer. It's really dark right now. Yeah, Better to show you guys in the morning. Since、uh, the guests who were planning to stay in this particular room canceled, we're going to show you what the Western room looks like. All right. If we can find it. 
We're also going to show you guys the kitchen later on. That's where we're having dinner tonight. Oh, I can't wait to sit here and eat tangerines. Will we even have time to eat tangerines today? I don't think so either. We have a busy schedule. Okay, we gotta go out again. <laughs> go past our second living quarters. Is it this way? Oh, oh this way. Okay. Okay, so oh, this is God. this is the room for the second group. Okay, first let's check out the bathroom. This is the bathroom for the second group. I'm in love with this bathroom. I'm so oh my gosh, look. This is um the sink is made of a vase that's been cut in half. So that's one half. That's the other half of the vase. Check out this um um, countertop. I believe this is made with um, stones that have been like discarded or something. Of course you have all your amenities here so you don't have to bring anything with you. And what I really like is all the little touches like this. Hello little sheep. You know, you have tissue paper here. You have, uh, what's this? Oh, you have a uh, Hand towels here. There are cloth towels. Okay. Can. Okay. And this is the entrance to the western room. I am so in love with this room too. Look at it. Look at it, please. Oh my gosh, I really want to stay in this room next time. Look at this, you got books to read if you want. Um, there's some water boiling there if you want coffee. They're using an old radio or something as the, the, the counter. Interesting. Right? They have hot water boiling there as well. Look at this, you got a chair, so you have nice. a nice desk here for writing contemplating life you have an old clock oh this is where all your coffee and teas are this is where you get all your cups and saucers and by the way i don't know if you guys noticed but this is a kura this is a old traditional japanese warehouse so this part of the room they utilize the kura and this is where your sleeping quarters are. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at that. Two beds, a really nice lamp. You have a nice desk here. Oh my goodness, I am just in love. Love this vase. Look, you have these things here. I guess this is like skincare. And this is a place where you can sit down have coffee, light some incense, and a piano. Can you believe there's a piano here? My gosh, that's not all. That's not all. This room is also humongous. Okay, let's go upstairs. There is a second floor. Oops. You just gotta be careful of your head. The ceiling is quite low. Here's the second floor, guys. Oh my goodness, on the second floor there is another desk with some natural cosmetics, seating area, another seating area over there, and two beds. So you have four beds in total. So a group of you could sleep comfortably in this room. It's so nice, oh my god, yes, I forgot. Look, you see, this is the original roof or the ceiling of the Kura warehouse. It's the original. Of course, they fixed, you know, some places that were kind of fragile. But I like all these little fixtures. You know, I also like the, the bedside table. You know, they use the old 
sewing machine table or something. I also love the artwork, these quirky artwork in their room. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with this room. I really, really am. Oh look, and, and if you want, of course, you can light some incense in this room as well. Can you believe how beautiful this is? Okay, I think we have one more room, right? The 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 bathroom. Oh, oh the bar. Wow. Yes. Guys, there is a bar. <laughs> there is a bar as well. Is the bar included in this room? Uh it's it's uh, the share share space. Okay, it's a shared space. So the bar is a shared space. So let's go down first. So <laughs> ここはバスルームかなあそうかバスルームいいですかいいですかいいですかいいですかいいですかいいですかいいですかいいですかいいですかいいですかいいですかいいですかいいですかいいですかいいですかいいですかいいですかいいですかいいですかいいですかいいです
しょうがないです。よろしくお願いします。今日はありがとうございます。はい。うん、美味しいこれ、うん、美味しい、うん、美味しいはじめまして<笑>本当に素敵なところですねあ,ありがとうございます本当に感動してますあ、そうですか、うん、本当に、本当にこの雰囲気は初めてこの、うん、このこういう本当に昔の江戸時代の建物なんですけど、ね、江戸時代になるわけですよね、うんよくご覧になってるボロボロだったんですよね。本当によくここまでね、手入れされましたね。<笑>そう、さっきね、動画見て、うん、え、僕だったら絶対もう無理。Well, none of you guys can see, but there, there are jars of, I think, liquor or juice, you know, homemade liquor and juice, which is pretty incredible. And look at the spread in front of us. We have some kind of salad, we have a rice pizza, which is really hot. And then we have this. This looks like some kind of appetizer with maybe cheese. This also looks like、um, like an amuse bouche or something. Mmm, <laughs> mm, go on the pizza. Amazing. Unlike any pizza I've ever had. Rice pizza. Mmm, you do taste the rice too. It's delicious. This meal was fantastic. Had such a great time eating all the food and enjoying the great company, listening to their stories. Really, really nice experience. Had such a great dinner. Enjoying this too, too much. Everything is natural and tasty, and this atmosphere is really good. So warm, heartwarming. I love this experience. So, tomorrow is a new day. Tomorrow we are going to be walking around town. We're going to be.、Uh, what are we doing tomorrow? We have a full schedule tomorrow.、Um, uh, we have breakfast. We're going to go to a bakery. We're going to go to a traditional sweet shop.、Um, we are going to have lunch somewhere. We are going to have coffee at another cafe. And we are going to go to a couple of shrines and temples. And、uh, we're going to visit a couple of、uh, the, the traditional、uh, samurai houses or something like that. Anyway, we have a really full schedule. And after that, we take the bus. I think it's the bus or the train. I'm not sure. We're going to a different city tomorrow. We're going to、um, Izumo City. Where we're just going to spend the night, and that's it. That's it. I really don't know what we're going to do in Izumo. But anyway, we have a pretty busy schedule tomorrow, so I'm going to call it a night. And this is the end of the video. Aren't you glad I am finished babbling? As always, guys, please smash the like button. Leave your comment down below. I always love reading your comments. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. For more videos like this one. I'll see you guys next time. Yes, I mean the site. Bye bye.